morning. Oh, man, I'm out of breath. Just been opening the window. Because the house still smells of last night's dinner, which I always hate. I hate when you get up in the morning and <laughs> you don't want to be smelling chicken and gravy. <laughs> you might find it funny, but it's gross. Yeah. Oh, morning. It's Saturday morning. Um, it's like 8.30. Um, and Henry left about 4.30, 5 or something. <laughs> Jet? Can you do kisses? Mm. Mm. One of the things I love about doing these vlogs <laughs> is that I can really capture. There we go, kisses. <laughs> it's like capturing all these little milestones that he does. Oh, really? Okay. I was just going to tell these guys what we're going to be doing today. <coughs> Should we tell them? So, yeah, so Henry's gone all weekend. Well, he's gone, he's just in Germany today. And then he gets back tomorrow in his straight away in the studio doing stuff. So it's a mummy and jet weekend. But today we're gonna to go up to London and see my friend Laura, um, an old school friend. Yeah, should we see Laura? That'll be fun. Um, she's just moved in with her boyfriend in South London, so that's exciting. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna go see Laura. Yeah. Um, or actually, well, we're either going to go to hers or we're going to meet her at Ikea because me and Jet also need to pop into Ikea to pick up a few little bits. It's annoying when you just need a few small bits from Ikea because it feels like a faff to like do the whole Ikea trip. But because we're up there anyway, it actually works quite well. Someone walking past. Um, yeah, I can't remember who it was. I feel like it was maybe Grace from Mrs. Grace Young. She um, was saying about using the Ikea spice racks as bookshelves, which is such a sweet idea. It was like specifically like baby bookshelves. And we were going to put them in the living room. Actually, we're going to put them, we're selling that stool. That stool's just been sat there for months because we have those two instead now. But we're selling that stool. And then I think there, in that little bit of, right by that little greasy handprint, we're going to put some shelves, but like his height, so he can pick out his books himself, which I thought would be sweet. Oh, nice dancing! We've come to the farm. Oh, what, my, vo <laughs> my voice just broke. <coughs> We've come to the farm. <laughs> it's, um, oh gosh, windswept. Had the windows open. Our AC in this car doesn't work, so you have to get out of the windows like winded right down. But then if you're on the motorway, it's quite brutal. Um, yeah, because we're going to London, this is en route. So I thought we'd stop here for an hour, see the animals, do some playing have some lunch, and then hopefully Jet will then sleep for the hour drive up to London. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Look. Look, it's the cow. What does the cow say? Mm. Yeah, moo. Sweet. Some big old beef cows. They don't actually look as small on video. But these are very cute little piggies. Here you go. That legend hanging out on top of the table. Jet. I think somewhere. Look here, Jet. Look. Jet, there's tiny guinea pigs. journey ever because it was number ones on Radio 1 the whole way just looking if I can park here yes I can um, and so poor Jet <laughs> oh I just stalled I can't vlog and drive guys it's far too tricky 
Um, poor Jet had me like <laughs> absolutely singing my little heart out. They played Evanescence, Robbie Williams. Best thing ever. Now, can we go see our friend? We had a really nice afternoon with my friend Laura. Just spent hours chatting in her lovely new house. She's in such a nice house. You can hear little footsteps. Hi, little footsteps. But yeah, we had a really nice time with her. Now, gosh, sorry, I'm getting blinded by the sun. But then we had a total fail, didn't we? We had a total fail at Ikea. <coughs> so really what I wanted was the spice racks for the books. There's a few other things I was potentially wanted to get, like um, some more hangers and some sandwich clips and like just a few really boring bits. And, and it was just such a fail. It was like, we got there at like 3.30. Jet hadn't really napped much today, so he was so tired. And just from the moment we got into Ikea, he decided that <coughs> Ikea was the last place he wanted to be that day. So that made it interesting. Um, and then, once you've decided, sorry, I'm getting major vlogger's arm. It's a real issue. Um, once you've decided that you want to leave Ikea, you realise how impossible it is to leave Ikea. Can I get an amen? Because I almost got quite claustrophobic and I was like, when am I next going to see daylight? We had to go through like the whole normal bit, then the whole marketplace on one level, then the marketplace is down another level, then the whole warehouse just to get out, and I didn't take the push chair in, so I was just carrying him. So I had him on my hip, just like trying to get past everyone while he was like wiggling and screaming and, oh, such a fail. Oh, and then <laughs> got to the marketplace bit where all the kitchen things were, which I just assumed that's where the spice racks would be. And I asked the lady, oh my, baby hair is distracting me. Um, I asked the lady and she was like, oh no, no, they're back at Kitchen access Accessories, which is right round the other end of the shop. <laughs> so annoying. So then I like, she was like, oh, this way, and like semi-directed me. So then I, I was like, no way am I going back to the like beginning of the shop. So I had to like pretend to go the way she'd said. And then I was like keeping an eye out for her. And then when she didn't look, I like darted around the side and just left the shop. Although I say left the shop. I left the shop like 10 minutes later, once we actually got to the end of the shop. But yeah, so it was a bit of a fail. And then we ended up driving home like 4.30 till 5.30 and I was so worried he was gonna sleep, but he didn't. I just sang a heck of a lot of old McDonald and we played a few games, kept him just bribed up with snacks. And now we're back home. Hi. Can you wave hello? Hey. You say hello. No, don't press it. <laughs> anyway, um, and there's also a couple of guys. Henry's so Henry's in Germany. He's got a couple of guys in our studio, which is downstairs. <coughs> I feel really self-aware. I've just realised I've been vlogging really loudly, and they probably think I'm talking to myself. But yeah, anyway, it's quarter to six. Jet's normally in bed by like six, half six. He's quite an early, early settler, aren't you? Yeah. Ooh, the shutters are on you. Yeah. Yeah. Jack, can you do some dancing? Mm. Oh, cool bouncing. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna do bath and bedtime and we'll see you tomorrow. Still don't know what we've got planned. But we'll see. Tonight I'm watching Road at First Sight. And I might order myself a wagon on this. Don't tell Henry. We just have nothing in the fridge. We never have anything in the fridge. I'm such a bad planner, shopper, food, organiser. So Jet slept really well last night. Sorry if my glasses are reflecting a bit. Jet slept really well last night. But I find nowadays, I think I'm so used to not having as much sleep. You get used to it, don't you? You get used to broken nights and teething and all those kind of things. But then it means I find when he does, when we do have a really good night's sleep, like I basically slept 11 till 6.30, 7, like quarter to 7. So I like basically had eight hours. But I feel like in a way I almost wake up feeling worse. That's so weird. I think when you don't get as much sleep, 
just taking the flip flop away. When you don't get as much sleep, your body goes into like survival mode. And so I think you feel fine. And then when you do get enough sleep, it's almost like you let yourself start relaxing and then it's just downhill from there. But yeah, anyway, that's a very long winded way of saying we're feeling a bit groggy this morning. Well, Jet's already up and dressed because he weed through his pajamas. Excuse me, what are you doing? Blah. Why are you in the corner? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. You're cheeky. Yeah. No, not the plug sockets. <laughs> right, Mister. We going on our bike. Ready? Oh, hello, look who I've got here. Here she go. I'm not going to even attempt to film while cycling, obviously, because that would be very dangerous. With such a precious little bean on the front. Make it the whole way. <laughs> I'm so unfit. It's so nice because our cycle into town is just all downhill. I basically don't pedal the whole way. But then coming home, oh, I am hot. It's a really nice morning. August is weird, like everyone just disappears on holiday and everyone's just off doing stuff. And we're not really having a, we're not having a family holiday this year. I mean, we are, we did. We went to Zimbabwe in January to see my sister. My sister lives out there with her three little kids and her husband. And so we went out in January, which was amazing, but it's kind of annoying now because we've had this year's holiday right at the beginning of the year. Anyway, everyone's been gone for ages, I feel like. So it was really nice this morning. We were at church and loads of our friends were back. So it's just a really nice thing, everyone catching up, how everyone's been, everyone was very tanned, which is another annoying thing. Cause I had a great tan in January, which was annoying for everyone else, but now I've been left behind. I um, just came home, I've just put Jet down. I'm gonna make some beans on toast and watch some Gilmore Girls. It's really sunny outside, but I'm gonna ignore that and just chill. Well, I kind of have to anyway, cause Jet's asleep. But I'm gonna have a lazy, hopefully few hours. So for these weekend vlogs, I normally would film Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but I forgot to film on Friday. Um, and so I think I'm going to film tomorrow, do Saturday, Sunday, Monday, because tomorrow, hopefully, I'm going to take Jet for his first haircut. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I might change my mind at the last minute, but everyone is thinking he's a girl and it's starting to get a bit in his eyes. And so I feel a bit guilty. So I think we'll go for a haircut tomorrow. But yeah. Anyway, that's a, that's an old story. But yeah. Lunchtime. Huh? Hi baby! You've got rosy cheeks. Should we get out? What are you doing? Whoa! Bounce, bounce, bounce! Can you do some bouncing? Whoa! Good job! Just had a really lazy day. Went to the park and played for a bit and then Henry came back. He's now downstairs in the studio doing some stuff and we Bye. Yeah. We are just having a snack and watching a bit of swashbuckle. Jet, let's see your outfit. This child dresses so much better than me. Look at you in your nice jumper and your cute little kit. Right, should we go? Go get your hair cut. I don't know if I, what I filmed yesterday. I think I stopped filming like mid-afternoon because we were just sit here like chilling and watched a bit of Tangled and played some games and 
He had a bath, went to bed, and me and Henry had a curry. All very exciting, slow Sunday. But yeah, off to get his hair cut. Ma, push his back. We just got here. We're just parking at the local Tesco and we're like 20 minutes early anyway so might just do the classic mum thing sitting in the car on my phone while my baby sleeps sometimes you've got to live up to the cliche Sweetest place, and they all sit in little cars, and watch TV. Um, and then at the end, they gave him a little balloon and a little. I kept a lock of his hair, which kind of feels a bit creepy, but I feel like that's the kind of thing you're supposed to do as a mum. Um, yeah, it's such a nice place. If you live in or near Brighton, Bertie and Bell, I would highly recommend it. Really friendly, and they're so quick, and they're like pros at cutting hair on someone that just keeps moving. But he had so much fun that he then absolutely sobbed when I took him out of the car and had to put him back in his buggy. So he, it's one of those things where it all goes a bit downhill because it was really fun, but then all ended in total tears. Oh, and I forgot to say, he hasn't totally lost his curls, which is another thing I'm really happy about. I was worried if it went too short, he'd just totally lose any curls, but the curls are still intact. He went to the chocolate croissant. Lucky boy. Back home with this boy and his yeah. and your fresh cut. He's being friendly for the camera, but he's been flipping miserable since we got home. I don't know if he's just really tired. I don't know if that, that nap in the car threw him because he doesn't normally nap like at that kind of time. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm just trying to do a really quick lunch and then just get him down to bed. Um yeah, I think we'll stop. We'll um see what I mean? Anyway, let's be quick. I think we're gonna end there because um because we are going to do something really fun this afternoon, but I'm actually filming that for something separate. So there's no point filming twice. <laughs> um so thank you so much for watching our weekend vlog. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Say thank you. Oh, nice waving. <laughs> Hope you have a lovely week. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe or like or come and join us over on Instagram. The links are below. 
uh, lots of love. Peace out.